Antarctic tourism has surged dramatically since the early 1990s, with numbers skyrocketing from a few thousand to over 100,000 in the 2022 to 23 season. The International Association of Antarctica Tour Operators, or IATO, estimates 118,089 tourists in 2023 to 2024. While tourism offers educational and economic benefits, it also raises significant environmental concerns. Increased human presence disrupts wildlife, damages fragile ecosystems, and risks introducing invasive species. Ship traffic pollutes pristine waters, and tourism adds to the global carbon footprint. The current governance framework for Antarctic tourism is fragmented and lacks clear regulations. The Antarctic Treaty prioritizes peaceful use and scientific research, while the Madrid Protocol offers broad environmental guidelines. However, day-to-day -day management relies heavily on IATO's self-regulation, which many believe is inadequate. The 46th Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting, or ATCM 46, focused on developing a comprehensive framework for regulating tourism. Despite some progress, the meeting failed to reach a consensus. A newly established working group will lead efforts over the next year. Antarctica needs stronger measures to mitigate tourism impacts. By prioritizing science-based decision-making and engaging all stakeholders, we can ensure Antarctica remains a pristine wilderness for future generations, while recognizing the potential benefits of responsible tourism.